that you get a revelation out of this. When the eggs, when the hand begins to sit on these eggs, the moment that hand sits on the eggs, all of us have ever crushed an egg. When you crush that egg, you don't see a chick in there. What you see is something that is formless. You cannot call it a circle, a rectangle, a square. You know, it just takes its shape. Are we together? So the Amplified brings it. The Spirit of the Father, the Amplified brings all the three words. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I love this. The Spirit of God was moving, hovering. So the moment the hen comes and sits on the eggs, whatever is in there is a formless. It has, it has no form. There is no shape to it. I've done a study, and, and I want you to go do this for yourself. Something happens. This hen sits on the eggs for 21 days. Someone said 21 days. And in that season of sitting on the eggs for 21 days, it eats very little. In fact, you could easily say that this hen is fasting. This hen will just sit there. You know, it will eat so little because it just wants to sit on these eggs. And every day it checks the eggs. And, and it checks the eggs. If a, an egg, because some of them, not all of them hatch, by the way. Some of them will go bad. And the moment the egg gets bad, it uses its beak and takes it away and sits again. And it waits for the 21 days. There's a powerful revelation here. The day you began to pray, That's why it is not good for you to say, I've been praying for one year, I'm going to give up because God is not listening. Because nothing has happened. Because the moment you begin to pray, the Holy Ghost begins to brood. Now I know some things will, may not look good, but God does not give up. He just gets out what is bad and keeps brooding. That's why Jesus Christ said in the book of Luke, men ought to pray and not faint. Because